Hello and welcome to Happy Handicrafts. My name is Joanna and today we're going to be making a paper sloyd pen wiper. This is the 10th supplementary model from the book Paper Sloyd for Primary Grades by Edna Ann Rich. And if you don't know what a pen wiper is, we'll join the club. I'd be willing to bet that the only one around here who knows what a pen wiper is, is Grandma Parsnip. We're not familiar with pen wipers anymore because we don't need them. In fact, we haven't needed them since the 1800s. Back then, when writing with a quill or nib, you'd have to wipe off the end before using it or storing it, and thus, the pen wiper. They came in all shapes and sizes, but I think ours is the cutest. Now, if you're just finding us, we've been working through this book for a while now, doing every project and recording it for you. So if you're learning Paper Sloyd as part of a homeschool program or just for fun, we'd love if you'd head back to our channel when you're finished this video, subscribe and start at the beginning. It's an entire curriculum and we would love to have you join us. So back to our pen wiper. This was another one of those projects where I looked at the diagram in the book and I just felt despair. I just had no idea where to start and what to do. But it's no longer surprising. Each time we've been able to figure these models out with the information provided. This one turned out to be particularly simple, which blew my mind. So let's get started. The materials you're gonna need for this project are first, the book, Paper Sloyd for Primary Grades. You'll find a link to this below one for the physical book and one for the free digital version. Next, you'll need two matching papers. We used a pattern paper for the cover and a plain paper for the leaves. Both were from scrap paper. You'll also need some scissors, a pencil, a compass, a hole punch, a ruler, and something to tie it with we used some embroidery thread. Okay, so first on the back of your patterned paper, measure down from the top on the left to three and one eighth of an inch and place a dot. Move your ruler over a few inches and measure down from the top to three and one eighth of an inch and place a dot. Now using your ruler, join those two dots with the horizontal line. Then measure along the top from the left and place a dot at two and three quarters of an inch. Move your ruler down to the horizontal line that you just drew and measure to two and three quarter inches and place another dot and now join those two dots with a vertical line. Now let's cut out our rectangle. Next, with our rectangle positioned vertically, we're gonna measure down to three quarters of an inch on each side and place a dot. Now draw a horizontal line connecting those two dots. Then measure in to one and three eighths of an inch on the bottom and top and place dots.
Then join those two dots with a vertical line, essentially drawing a cross. You're gonna be amazed at how this becomes a heart. Okay, next you're gonna measure along the horizontal line in three quarters of an inch from both sides and draw a dot. Now measure on your compass to three quarters of an inch. Then place the pointer of your compass on each of those dots that you just drew and draw half a circle or so from the edge of the paper to that middle line. You'll see the top part of the heart taking shape. Okay, now we're gonna measure again with our compass. This time set it to two and three quarters of an inch. Now place the point of the compass on the edge of that horizontal line and draw part of a circle from the other end of the horizontal line to the bottom of the vertical line. Then change sides. Put the point of the compass at the opposite edge of the horizontal line and draw your semicircle from the bottom of the vertical line to the horizontal line. And now you can cut out your heart shape. This is gonna be the cover of your pen wiper. Next, we're gonna make the leaves. The book says to make three of them. And here's a little tip. We folded our solid color paper in four so that we could make four leaves all in one go. We're gonna start by measuring out a two and a half inch square. So measure down from the top on the left to two and a half inches and draw a dot. Then move your ruler over a couple of inches and measure down from the top to two and a half inches again and draw a dot. Now join those two dots with the horizontal line. Then at the top, measure in from the left to two and a half inches and place a dot. Move your ruler down to that horizontal line we just drew and measure in from the left to two and a half inches and place another dot. Now join those two dots with a vertical line. Now don't cut it yet. First, we're gonna measure in from the left along the bottom line and place a dot at one and a quarter inches. Now one last time, we're gonna measure our compass to two and a half inches. And then you're gonna place the point of your compass on the dot we just drew and draw the arc of a circle across the top of your square. For the remainder of the leaves, watch what Lucy is doing. Now let's cut out those leaves. We're gonna speed things up here for a minute. Be careful of those scissors. And now we're gonna assemble our pen wiper. First, we're gonna punch holes in our cover. Remember those dots we placed earlier? We're gonna punch our holes through those dots. Next, Line your leaves up and position them over the cover. Then holding all the layers together tightly, flip it over and punch holes over the holes you already made. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. If you found one, 
let us know in the comments. And now for our last step, we're going to tie all of the pieces together using some colored embroidery thread. You can use string, ribbon, or whatever you have available. You're going to cut an eight inch or so piece and thread both ends through the holes from the back to the front and tie a bow. Now, aren't you proud of how that came out? How did it go from so confusing to so simple? Grandma Parsnip insisted on crafting along with us and she made her own version too. She still likes to write with an old fashioned pen and ink. Be careful, Grandma. Oh, Grandma, not again. I'm gonna go clean up this mess. I'll see you in the next video.